surfing nerd here. Today we will be looking at Material Shell. Now this is a GNOME extension that basically completely transforms GNOME into a completely different experience. So I'll have the steps below in the description to install it. And yeah, anyways let's take a look at it. So Material Shell is basically turns GNOME into tiling window manager that you control with your mouse, so it's interesting. Now, uh, let me show my desktop here, and uh, this is what the desktop looks like by default. So, you've got uh, a bunch of different tabs. One is your internet, one is development, one is social, one is office, one is graphics, one is multimedia, one is games, and one is other. Now, if I open an app, uh, you can access your activities by using the hot corner. And then uh, you can use this menu right here to open your app list. So if I open an app like Chromium, it will automatically open Maximize in its respective tab. And then if I open another app like uh, I have Chromium open, let's open up, uh, let's say I opened up GNOME you know, Web. Now it will automatically tile for you. So it's like a tiling window manager, but it's not a tiling window manager. So you get the features of a tiling window manager inside of a desktop. Now what's cool is you can switch between those tabs, so I can have all my tiling stuff be for web browsers, and then I could open up a code editor like uh, Atom, and then I can also open up like Discord, and then I can open up GIMP, I already have OBS opened up, I could open up Minecraft, and then I can switch between all of these applications just by clicking. And it's a really nifty way of doing it. And it's also all material design themed. Now, uh, as you can see, everything has a material design look to it. So, uh, I am also using the Papyrus icon theme and the Plata GDK theme. However, the shell theme just looks very material design. Actually, it also has a hint of fluent design in it too. It's like a mix of them. Not fully material design, but it feels a little bit like fluent design from Microsoft. So now I have my web stuff, then I can code, then I can talk on Discord, then I can uh, access my files, then I can work on a thumbnail, then I can record a video, <laughs> then I can play a game, and then, then I could run a VM. The this tab interface is really nice in my opinion. So yeah, it's a pretty short video. Uh, just check something to check out. Check out Material Shell. Uh, uh, steps to install will be in the description. And yeah.